back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys! So I am here today to do an unboxing, which is always very exciting. My latest moth box just arrived, which is awesome. And I can't wait to find out what's inside. This one is one of the novel boxes, so I'm very excited. And if you have no idea what Mothbox is, it's a book postal service that is run by Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings. I will put a link to her channel down below and also to the Mothbox website, which is where you can buy the boxes from. She launches the new box on the first day of every other month because it is a bi-monthly box. And so the best way to find out when the new box is going live is to follow her Twitter and be around at about 5pm UK time on the day that she is going to release the boxes. So it's usually the first of each month. I have been loving the moth box so far. I have been really enjoying everything that she's put in it. I've never ever heard of any of the books so I'm sure that she won't disappoint me. And every book that I've read so far as part of it has been really really strong and really great. So I'm looking forward to finding out what's inside this box and hopefully it's something that sounds good and I will get to very soon. So let's open it up and find out together. This is what the moth box looks like. So it always says a little card with the logo and then this one is the novel edition May 2017. And on the back it says, this month's box features two wildly different novels. One of them is an intensely emotional family drama with some shocking twists and turns. The other is a very bizarre mystery story. So what connects the two books? Well, at their heart, both of them are about the differences people can make to one another. The good and the bad. So that is her little teaser. Now let's try and dig through all the stuff to find the books. So here is book number one and here is book number two. So here are the books, very exciting. So let's start with this one. The quote from the book is, Inside the glass case, glass creatures, her creatures. A million times magnified, exquisite, strange and so familiar she cannot help the tears in her eyes. So that sounds exciting. Let's open it up and find out what the actual book is. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, here we go. So this is Starshot, a novel by Mary Ann Constantine. And it says that it is a speculative book. Part fable, part mystery, Starshot is a poignant debut novel set in Cardiff in a time that is almost, but not quite, our own. As their paths cross in a circumscribed world of benches, parks and galleries, a handful of characters reveal stories of obsession, loss and recovery, creating a fragile network of relationships which will help to resist the inexorable channels of silence eating into the city. Beautifully illustrated with woodcut style motifs by Clive Hicks Jenkins, this is a subtle and humorous urban novel with supernatural twists. Okay, so there's little motifs throughout the story that I guess kind of relate to whatever's happening inside the book. And they look like loads of little flower motifs, so that's really cute. So yeah, that is the first book. Very exciting. Definitely one I am looking forward to. And this is published by Seren Books, who are a publisher I've never heard of, but it definitely looks like a nice little read. And apparently Seren is an imprint of a poetry company, so I guess this is going to be quite a lyrical, beautiful read, which is awesome. So definitely think the cover relates to the little motifs inside, and certainly this is one that I'm looking forward to getting to. There's a little picture on the back too, so hopefully it's really good, definitely a beautiful one, if nothing else. So very exciting. The second one, I'll read out the little quote. It says, in case it slipped your mind, dear sir, let me remind you, I am your wife. I know that this once pleased you and that now suddenly it chafes. And let's unwrap it. Ha ha. Ooh. So this is Ties by Domenico Starnone. 
not sure if that's exactly how you say his name or her name. Um, it's translated by Jimfra Lahiri. Again, I'm not sure if that's how you say their name. And it was the winner of the Bridge Prize for Best Novel in 2015. And it is published by Europa Editions, who are, I guess, a small publisher. I really enjoy translated fiction, but I don't tend to read very much of it in science fiction and fantasy, just because it's lesser known. It's definitely out there, but it's harder to find it's lesser known. So I'm really excited about reading some more translated fiction. Mercedes is very good at picking some awesome ones. And this is a really beautifully put together book. It's got flaps on the inside, which is lovely. So let's read a little bit off the blurb. Ties is the story of a marriage. Like many marriages, this one has been subject to strain, to attrition, to the burden of routine. Yet it has survived intact. Or so things appear. The rupture in Vanda and Aldo's marriage lies years in the past, but if one looks closely enough, the fissures and fault lines are evident. Their marriage is a cracked vase that may shatter at the slightest touch, or maybe it has already shattered and nobody is willing to acknowledge the fact. Apparently this is the 13th book by this author, and he is an Italian author, so definitely excited to give this one a go. So these are the two books that I got in my box. I am super excited for both. Um, not sure which one to read first, actually, so do let me know in the comments which one you think I should pick up first. They're both relatively short, so I should be able to get to them pretty soon. And yeah, I can't wait to give them both a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go and check out the Mothbox Twitter and website. I'll link them below. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye, guys! Thank you for watching my video today Go pick up a book Then come back and chat with me again